Hello everyone, my name is Venu and in this video, I'll show you guys how you can live stream your mobile games from your PC. You don't necessarily need to have a gaming mobile in order to live stream. In fact, this method will also work on your iPhone and your Android mobiles. These are the gadgets you must have in order to do the live stream from your PC. I already tried this method once before and I got very less ping inside the game. So I was also able to play properly without interfering with the server latency or the network issues. It was perfect. That's why I'm making this video. I will also attach the live stream clip in this video in order to show you guys as a proof that it will be lower ping and also very smooth play. Streamlabs is the software that we use to do the live stream from our PC. But in order to get our mobile phone's screen to our computer, we will use the Chromecast to get the signal from our mobile and we will capture the Chromecast using the capture card. And the capture card will send the signal to our PC and we will live stream it from our PC. That's how it works. But if we directly connect our Chromecast to our capture card, we may face HTCB protection error. We can actually prevent this error using the HDMI splitter. So it won't be a problem. Okay, let me show you how we can do all of that. This is what happens when we directly connect our Chromecast to our capture card. We will actually get the HTCP protection error. But in order to bypass this, we need to connect our HDMI splitter. I bought this HDMI splitter from Amazon. Most of the splitters will work, so you don't have to worry about that. You need to connect your Chromecast in the HDMI splitter input. And then you have to connect your capture card from the output of the HDMI splitter. I did get HTCP error even after using the splitter. But Ever Media Capture Card has a small software for that. It's a capture card management software and it has own feature that allows us to disable that HTCP detection. Then you may ask like why do you need the splitter if you can disable the HTCP detection? You see I did try that but it didn't work for me. Whenever I directly connected my Chromecast, it didn't work. I got the blank screen. And when I used the splitter and disabled the HTCP detection, it did work. Hopefully your capture card has uh, its own management software. If it does, probably your capture card software may also has the ability to disable the HTCP detection. Now let me show you how you can do that in our media software. First off, you have to download and install your own capture card device software. And for me, I already installed it. It's called Evermedia Rex Central. It's the software that allows me to customize my, my capture card settings. You can find the option to disable the HTCP detection from its settings. After going to the settings, I had to select which capture card and then I selected the HTCP detection and then I disabled the HTCP detection from the settings. After a few seconds, my Chromecast actually showed up in my capture card. Now I'm going to try casting my mobile phone into the Chromecast. That way I can stream my games online. And sometimes I'll do game streaming to chase away my loneliness. You know what I mean? Sometimes no friends, no hope. So we had to do the live stream and talk to a lot of people. That's how I do. What a life. As you guys can see, my screen mirroring is actually working through my Chromecast. And now I can stream my games online. Streamlabs has actually a lot of widgets such as chat box and subscription feeds and so much more. Once you configure all of them, you can click the go live button and you can live stream it. I hope this helps you guys, please like this video and share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.